Or it is asking to the light to share the Merlin series of hyperbolic sine function. We first let fx be equal to hyperbolic sine function. At point 0 is equal to, we can make use of calculator. So press option, look for hyperbolic function. What we want is hyperbolic sine, which is equal to 0. When we differentiate hyperbolic sine function, we should obtain hyperbolic cos function. And differentiate hyperbolic cos function, we obtain hyperbolic sine function. So as we can see, it's alternately sine, cos, sine, cos, and so on. So for hyperbolic cos function as x equals to 0, we have option again, look for hyperbolic. Now we should look for cos zero so we have one so it's supposed to have zero one zero and so on so which means that for every odd derivative we will obtain cos so for every odd derivative we obtain 1 at point 0. So for every n equal to starting from 0, 1, 2, and so on. So as long as all derivative we obtain cos, at point 0 we obtain 1. So for even derivative, we obtain sine. At point 0, we have zero so which means that sine function the Marilyn series of the sine function is equal to we just have to refer to the odd derivative so which means that first derivative so is one over first first is one factorial x to power of 1. The power and the factorial number refer to the number of the derivative that we have. So which means that this is first derivative. So that's why we have 1 here. Then the next odd number should be 3. So which means that the third derivative. So we have 3 factorial x to the power of 3. And then we should have value of 1. And the next derivative we have 5. So 5 factorial x to the power of 5 and the next derivative we have is 7 as long as odd number should be 1 3 5 7 and so on since odd number we have 1 even number we have 0 so 0 can be eliminated can be ignored and so on so depends on the question how many terms we need then we we write for how many terms then we yeah. so we can simplify now so 1 over 1 is 1 so we have x plus 1 over 3 factorial is 1 over 6 x to the power of 3 then plus 1 over 5 factorial is 120 if not sure then we can press 5 factorial which is equal to 120 correct so we have 120 x to the power of 5 and the last one 7 factorial which is equal to 5040 x to the power of 7 and so on then we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you